I'm doing another makeup tutorial for you. This is my second video for Cosmo for Latinas. As you guys know, I'm the official beauty blogger and I'm so excited because this is such an honor for me. So I am really happy to bring you another video today. There will be like a step-by-step -step picture tutorial and a lot more information and pictures on their website. Uh, so I'll put a link to that blog down in the description bar. So what I wanted to do was create something that was very daytime wearable, but still not like like the fresh face look you know I do have a fresh face tutorial but I want to do something a little bit more fun with color and something that really represents spring since spring is officially here um, so let's get started with this video because I have a lot to share with you so the first thing I'm doing is just taking my Juice Beauty CC Cream in Warm Glow and I'm really loving the applicator tip this is the first time I'm trying out this product and it's actually working really well um, I'm going to use this to moisturize my skin, also to even out the skin surface and the skin tone. And it's just going to be my primer and I'm just going to let this absorb into my skin. And then next I'm going to prep my eyes by just priming them with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer in Nude. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer to my top eyelid and bottom lash line. Now the colors that I'm using are from this palette called Esperanza from Kat Von D, which I featured in my last Sephora haul. And I'm taking this color first just on the middle part of my eyeball so it can really pop. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to go in and fill it in with dog roses and that's just going to go on the outer V and also in the inner V. And I'm going to connect that throughout my crease as well. And I'm just going to switch my brush to a blending brush just to smooth out the colors and blend them together. Now for the bottom lash line, first I'm going to take this lavender eyeliner from this brand called Italia which you can find I believe like at the, the 99 cent store so I'm not sure. Um, I think that's where I got it but I'm just going to line my bottom lash line first. And then I'm going to go over it with a really pretty um, purple color called Selena. And I'm just taking a small short shader brush just to sort of apply that right on top and to smoke it out. The next thing that I'm doing is taking this inner rim liner from Tarte and this is just going to go on the waterline. I love this one especially just because it is sort of like a skin tone. It's not too harsh like white. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and apply self right beneath my eyebrow as a highlight and also to blend out that soft brown color. Now for eyeliner, instead of black, I chose this color which is 805 from CoverGirl and the color is sort of like this dark brown, um, maybe not that dark but maybe like a light brown actually once it dries. Once it dries it's more of a light brown than dark and I'm just going to use this to line my top lid and then wing it out and then just of course add some mascara so it can hold for my false lashes and then here I'm just taking this bottom lash mascara from Clinique to give my bottom lashes a few coats because you can never forget about those. And you can just take your favorite lashes. I've been using these so I can't even tell you which specific lashes are these. But just pop on your favorite lashes. Um, so here I'm just going to move on to my foundation. I'm using the Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercier. Now a lot of people were asking on my last video why I chose to use um, a foundation. For me it's all about really evening out my skin tone and getting rid of some of that uh, the redness and the... Um, the imperfections that I have. Some of you say, girl, you don't need it, but trust me, if you see me in person, I do need it. The camera just makes things look a lot better. Um, so I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender because I'm really loving the beauty blender. I've been using it a lot lately. And then here I'm just going to highlight and conceal my dark circles. I'm actually not really suffering from circles today, but I was yesterday. And I'm just going to take this and really drag it down. And then I'm going to go back with my beauty blender because that's the thing that I love the most. And make sure that's well blended out. 
I'm also gonna add a little bit of color to my face using a bronzer. This one is Daydream of Lanai, and I'm just gonna really buff that into my skin. For some reason, I look really orange in this clip. I think it's because of the lighting. But anyways, for the lips, I'm using a Rassel Fiesta Butter Lipstick from NYX. So buttery smooth. And I'm gonna top it off with sugar cookies. It really has, um, it already has a really nice finish, the butter lipsticks, but the gloss just makes it a little bit more creamier and just more glossy and I don't know, I just really love it. So I just added a thin coat right on top of that. And I am pretty much done, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will have to see you in my next video.